It is our joy to welcome all of you today from near and far to this beautiful setting. The Highlands, I had never been here before. It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? The most important thing that I can tell you tonight is just enjoy the moment. Take in the beauty of where we are, the magnificence of these mountains, the friends and family we're lucky enough to share this time with. To all of you, we say welcome in the name of Christ. And I just want you to turn to somebody and say, I'm glad you're here to celebrate with this sweet couple. Yeah. We're so glad to have everybody here to this uh, celebration of a hugely delayed wedding. And for everything that everyone else has gone through this past year, it's, it's coming right up in my throat, I apologize. It's great to have everybody, everybody here, friends and relatives. So we thank the dear Lord that we all made it safely here. The room will grow bigger as the night goes on, so we're hoping that everyone enjoys themselves. I'm honored to be up here. It's a pretty surreal experience, honestly. I mean, you always just kind of wonder what you're going to say at your best friend's wedding. And uh, to be able to do that for Rachel, <laughs> just... Really, it means the world to me. When I think about Chad's, like, he's just the epitome of a good time. He's everybody's best friend. He's the life of the party. And uh, I couldn't have thought of a better person to extend not being adult with. And uh, then I met Rachel. And uh, Rachel taught me, hey, maybe we don't have to sing karaoke Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> Um, she really did take my breath away the first time I saw her. I remember telling Scott Moss that I'm, I'm going to marry this girl. And this was before we were even dating. We were doing these family dinners and so we got close for those and then he told me that we couldn't start officially dating until March and this was December and I was like, well, why? And he said, well, I've got a bet with my friends that none of us have girlfriends. Okay, like, what? <laughs> why? We had a pack with the boys that nobody could get a girlfriend until March 1st. <laughs> so I, I told Rachel, I can't start dating you until March 1st. So then he waits until March 2nd. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say this. <laughs> Rachel, I'm so happy that you and Chaz have found each other. I love you more than Chaz most of the time. <laughs> you two are great people. Cheers to both of you. You are the best. Rachel, from the minute you were born, uh, you were everyone's joy. She just brought us joy. I can't tell you how much joy she brought us all together. We can tell that Chaz completes you, and you complete Chaz, and uh, that's all you can ask for in a spouse. God has blessed Alex and me with two wonderful sons, and each of them has chosen the most wonderful woman to, to call as a life partner. I'm just really excited to get a front row seat to witness you two build a life together because you really do make life more fun. And I just look forward to you guys spreading love and that real genuine laughter to everyone you encounter.
Mitchell. I pledge to continue to share my life openly with you and to speak the truth in love with you. I promise God's help to tenderly care for you, to cherish you, and to encourage you. As you become all you were meant to be. and Rachel, as you prepare for your life together, remember that you are no longer the center of your own universe. Love has opened your heart to one another and has made you each a different and a fuller person. May you honor the Lord and each other in your marriage as two hearts come together. We're about to do something very, very special. Dear groom, Mr. Skidmore emailed me about a month ago and he said, I hope the timing is okay, but um, I'd like to serenade my bride. So this is for you, dear. Lights up till January. Yes, this is our house, and we make the rules. And there's a dazzling haze in mysterious way about you, dear. <laughs> Have I known you 20 seconds, 20 years? Can I go where? Love her. 